Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you how to make a brightly coloured spring wreath to adorn your home, get rid of some of that winter chill. And it's really easy to make. You don't need any previous skills in paper flower making. You just really need scissors, card, crepe paper, a wreath base like these ones here. I don't know if you can see that because... <laughs> Um, this is just a copper wire wreath base from Hobbycraft. In fact, most of the products I'm using here today are from Hobbycraft. And all I've done with this wreath base is I have wrapped a quarter of it in yarn. You can see here on the back of this one. And the other three quarters I've wrapped with a layer of crepe paper, then a layer of this hessian ribbon, and then some raffia. Now that wrapping process takes a little while, so I'm not going to demonstrate it to you now. But effectively what you get is a quarter area where you're going to put most of your decoration for an asymmetric wreath. The good thing about these copper wreath bases as well is because they're quite weighty, even if most of your decoration is in that quarter, it will still hang straight, it won't tilt down to the bottom of it because of the weight of the wire. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make leaves. And as I said, you don't really need any specialist equipment. You need a piece of card. This is quite a nice tealy blue from this coloured paper pack here. These aquas. Um, and a ruler and your reading glasses so you can see what you're doing. So take a ball-ended tool and just score down your piece of card at about, what, a centimetre and a half from the edge? Fold it up and then take some sharp scissors and you don't even need a template for this. Just cut some half leaf shapes from your card so they open up like this. Oh. And then if you snip into them one, two, three times and then turn it upside down and curve a line down from the point to the end of your snip. I could probably word that better, I can't think how else to describe it. So that you have a more realistic looking leaf. So here's some others that I've done earlier. And as I say, you don't even need a template. All you need to do is to cut that initial curved piece. And you can leave them without the little serrated pieces out of the edges. So they are the leaves that I've assembled on this wreath. And I've stuck down a lot on either side of that yarn wrapped piece. And then a few more in between and a couple up here. And then I'm going to quickly show you how to make two types of flowers. Um, the first one is like these big hydrangea heads. Now, I'm not a huge fan of polystyrene balls, I'll be honest with you. They're not the most environmentally friendly. But also, it's better to use them in a project than just put them in the bin. So this is a, what, 40 millimetre diameter polystyrene ball. Um, I don't have a hot knife to cut it, so I'm simply going to cut it in half with my craft knife and twist it. This is why I don't really like polystyrene. I've got a feeling you can get some um, cotton balls that are e equally hard that you can use in place of polystyrene. And then if you grab yourself some crepe paper, let's make this a purple one. Um, crepe paper, two things. If you're gonna cut it across the grain, you can do it really easily with, I say really easily, you know now that my blade's going to be blunt. You can do it really easily with a blade and a scalpel. But if you try and cut it with the grain, with a blade and a scalpel, you're going to fall foul. It's going to catch, it's going to irritate you. So grab yourself, if you have one, a rotary cutter. And just like you would fabric, just slice it with a rotary cutter and because the wheel of the rotary cutter cuts into it, 
it doesn't drag on the paper. So take your piece of crepe, fold it up a few times. And crepe is great because it's so thin, you can cut through several layers just with a pair of ordinary paper crafting scissors. So you want to cut yourself some circles and then just separate them by literally running your thumbnail over the surface to get individual petals. Then take a knitting needle and your half a polystyrene ball and I'd start on the outside edge because if you start on the outside edge you can hold this ball between your thumb and finger as you turn it. Just put yourself one, two, three, four holes in there. Actually I might use a slightly bigger knitting needle. That one's got no end on it. I have loads of knitting needles at home. I don't knit, I just use knitting needles for every other craft. Now I'm using a glue here that's not a particularly wet glue, it is a spirit glue based glue, it's actually a fabric glue, but it doesn't drip everywhere which is always a bonus. And I've just put a little bit of glue in each of those holes, take a petal, I don't know if you can see this, if you lay your petal over the hole, and gently push it with a ball ended tool into the glue. Lay another petal next to it and again push it in there and don't ram it in there really hard because the crepe will tear like this one has just gone straight through the middle of that crepe. If that happens you can just gather up a bit more of it and push it in or you could just take it out altogether and use a new bit, which is what I'm going to do. And it builds up around the edge in a series of little sort of florets. I'm going to put the lid back on that. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my glue. It just builds up a series of florets and don't poke and prod them too much. Once they're already in that indentation, just leave that glue to dry. And so what will happen is once you've done one ring, you'll then start putting holes above it and above it to the centre. And you'll create, as I say, like this hydrangea effect is if you haven't got any polystyrene balls, you haven't got a lot of time, you can make something equally good. Let's do this in the blue. Cut yourself about a five centimetre strip of blue, or any colour you like. Um, and you want to wind this, because sometimes when crepe is, is folded, it's not perfect. I've got here a a piece of card about six centimetres wide and I'm just going to wind my crepe around it and slide it off and I'm just going to cut a serrated circle from this bundle of crepe Again, separate the individual pieces. Dry type glue stick, put a bit of glue in the middle of each and layer them back up. And they don't have to be perfectly lined up. In fact, if they're a little bit off centre each time, it gives a better petal effect. And then pop it in the palm of your hand push down with a ball ended tool and while that glue is still wet pinch the end of it 
and twist it slightly so that when the glue dries, it will dry in that pinch. And then, normally you'd wait for the glue to dry, but you know me, I don't like to wait for glue to dry, ever. And then you can just tease out these petals and push some of them in a bit. And then when they're dry, they can be stuck to the wreath as well, like these little blue ones here. So two very easy ways to make two quite effective flowers without any specialist equipment. I say, if you go down to your local hobby craft store, um, they've got a range of things in there that you can use to make this wreath. But I think what makes it is the hessian and the raffia and the, and the spring colours tissue paper. Makes quite a nice display. And then when it comes to summer, because you've just glued them on, you can just take them off and put summer colours on there instead. So I hope you like that. I hope that's given you a bit of inspiration to decorate your own home this spring. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're keeping crafting and I hope you'll see us again very, very soon. If you subscribe to us, we'll let you know whenever we've got a new demo coming up. So uh, there's even more of me in 2022. Thanks for having me. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.